The problems which you have with bush encroachment, you have less accessibility to your farm because in some areas you can't move because of excessive bush. Bush avoids the growth of grass, which is the main ingredient to our cattle farming. In Namibia, there is a general norm which they say, debushing you are buying your farm twice when you are doing debushing on your farm. It's like buying your farm twice. Estimates are that at least 30 million hectares of land in Namibia are bush encroached. This is one third of the country. This used to be a land of open savannas. Why has bush taken over? We have disturbed the entire nature in one way or, or another. I think the most important reason is that the grass layer all over the country was overutilized to a large extent. So they've lo lost their competitive advantage in, in fact. The other theory is the uh, state and transition uh, theory. It says that savannas are event driven where rainfall and its variability plays a much more important role than the intensity of grazing. The species that form this often thorny and impenetrable bush are mainly indigenous to Namibia, such as blackthorn, bladethorn, whitethorn, redthorn, and sickle bush. Grass cannot compete with these species. It is left with little room to grow and not nearly enough water. Hydrologists find that encroacher bush has a catastrophic effect on Namibia's water resources, drastically decreasing water inflow into underground reservoirs. Namibia is an arid country. The bit of rainfall that we got is supposed to actually meant for grass growth. And these species are actually competing against grass. And uh, they are not actually browsable to livestock that we are keeping in the area. We try to thin so that we can actually create a room for grass to grow. And that is currently what we have been doing for the past four to five years. It should be uprooted. We cut and then we dig a bit, we uproot everything to avoid the regrowth. The, obviously, there are a number of private farmers who are doing a very good job out there, harvesting the wood, and they create a better rangeland on their farms. And it is our strong belief that um, if the bush encroachment problem is actually properly addressed, we are going to increase the capacity of our land. We shall be able to produce more, and we shall actually be able to, to have more people sharing the land to produce. Bush control is possible. All over Namibia, farmers are experimenting with different methods. Some are investing in manual bush thinning, which is labor-intensive and effective. Others make use of semi-mechanized and mechanical debushing methods. Chemical debushing will kill encroacher bush, but if used unselectively, also nearly all other plants. And there is concern regarding secondary effects. Regardless of the method used, aftercare is essential. Farmers observe that the bush simply grows back. Debushing might provide more grass, but not necessarily better grass. A long-term recovery of the grazing capacity requires active rehabilitation of the grass ward in order to achieve growth of the desired perennial grass. This is going to be a continuous process. If we touch on these bushes in nature, we create a vacuum each time and we'll have to do aftercare after each treatment. I think this will need a lot of people coming together and, and think about the future. Yes, we need a win-win situation. At, at the moment, it's just a losing battle which, which the farmers are facing. So I, th I think if we can create a situation where we can utilize the excessive amounts of bush in, in, in the country and convert it into something which they can sell. Bush control will only be effective on a large scale if the woody biomass is recognized as a valuable resource. Currently, encroacher bush is sold as firewood for local communities, made into charcoal for export, and compressed to briquettes. It is used for carving, to make furniture, floorboards, and fencing materials. 
Bush is being turned into fertilizer and even into animal fodder. Creative and inventive product ideas are developing across Namibia, turning the problem into an opportunity. The biggest chance for upscaling lies in utilizing the energy content of the biomass. Today, wood chips are already being used to produce heat for cement production and other industries are starting to realize the potential of this resource. Namibia could even use the woody biomass for a decentralized electricity production, thereby rendering its economy and people independent from imports, strengthening the regions and using alternatives to fossil fuels. Bush encroachment is a problem, but it can be wisely addressed to increase the carrying capacity of rangeland and also to ensure that we don't destroy our biodiversity Wisely, we're going to win.